23.3, decreasing at constant rate. And again, we have the same formula for calculating the amount. We have A equals to P times 1, and this time it will be 1 minus R to the power N. And we call this factor 1 minus R as the decay factor. Factor, decay vector. And this factor will always be less than 1 since R is a positive number. And in later parts of the textbook, this is also called a depreciation factor or depreciation rate. In the lot. And the actual decrease in value, we call this depreciation, which is given by the formula P minus A, since this time P will be greater than A. And now let's look at example 7. The number of a certain kind of bird in danger of extinction is 1,500 last year, and the number found in this year is 1,470. Find the percentage decrease. Therefore, we can simply apply the formula of calculating percentage change. And uh, this will be 1500 minus 1470 divided by the original value, which is 1500 multiplied by 100%. And the answer is 2%. And now in part B, if this kind of bird continues to decrease at the same rate, that is, the number dropped by 2% each year, what will be the number of this kind of birds five years later? And uh, since this year we have 1470, therefore, the number of birds five years later will be 1470 times 1 minus 2% to the power 5. And the answer is 1, 3, 3, 0. Correct to the nearest 